Hello and welcome. Today is March 2nd, 2020, and tomorrow is Super Tuesday. So in this video, I'll be doing my prediction on what will happen on Super Tuesday. I'll be live streaming tomorrow, so go check that out. As well as make sure you subscribe before we get started. We're at 201 subscribers, and hopefully you can get to 225 by the end of the month. So let's get started. California, the largest state for uh, delegates for the Democrats. Sanders leads almost by 15 points. Biden has 18% in polling, 16% for Warren, and 13% for Bloomberg. If you've not heard yet, Pete Buttigieg, as well as Amy Klobuchar, and Tom Steyer have dropped out of the race. Amy Klobuchar has endorsed Biden. Buttigieg looks to be endorsing Biden next. Steyer is still unknown. So first, I do believe Sanders will win the state of California by getting a roughly 182 delegates. Biden will receive around 86, 80, eh, 91. I could see him hitting. For Warren, I could see her hitting roughly 78, and Bloomberg gets 65 delegates. In the state of Texas, Sanders leads by four and a half points. Um, Biden's having a slight return now after Bloomberg had a slight drop, as well as Warren's having a return there as well. I still do believe Sanders will edge this one out very narrowly. I think he'll get about about uh, 187 delegates. Biden will receive about 100, no, I mean 181 delegates. Actually, it's a little lighter than that. More like 79, 73. Warren will receive about 40, and Bloomberg will receive roughly 36 delegates. In the state of North Carolina, Biden leads by only six points here, but he's on the rise. Bloomberg had a slight fall. Um, and there's now 9% up for grabs there from uh, Klobuchar and Buttigieg. At this moment, I do see Biden winning the state of North Carolina, getting roughly 49 delegates. Sanders receives 39, um, actually more like 30, 30, and Biden... Receives about 43. Warren, 17, nine, about 19, and Bloomberg will receive roughly 18 delegates. And Virginia, there's, what is this? There's been three polls out Biden plus five, a tie in Sanders plus nine. Um, Buttigieg was decently polling there, as well as Klobuchar. Um, I still think Biden will edge this one out very, very narrowly, getting about 39 delegates. Sanders will receive 32. Warren will get... Well, I need a couple more delegates because I do believe Bloomberg will gain some. I'm going to take slightly away from both Biden and Sanders. In the state of Minnesota, Amy Klobuchar dropped out. This was her home state. Sanders is pulling pretty good there. Um, Buttigieg, not too great. I do think that Sanders will win the state of Minnesota, though, getting about 33 delegates. Biden will receive about 24, and Warren will receive 18 In Massachusetts, Elizabeth Warren's home state, in the latest four polls, Sanders has led Warren. This is not a good sign for her. If she loses her home state, she's most likely to drop out of the race. A, uh, Buttigieg has had some pretty good polling there, and there's 
a decent amount of Buttigieg supporters that do kind of would uh, cross over to Warren. So I could see her still winning her home state, but it'd be very difficult. Um, I'm going to say she's going to win her home state. Very tough decision. Sanders slightly behind with about 28. Biden gets 18, uh, 17, and Bloomberg gets 15. In the state of Utah, 13 plus for Sanders, plus 9 for Sanders. Buttigieg did good there in one of the polls and didn't do good in the other one. Klobuchar was okay. Um, Biden not too well. I do think uh, Sanders will win the state of Utah, receiving about 11, 12 delegates. Warren will receive 8, actually, mm, more like 7. Bloomberg will receive 7, and Biden will receive 4 delegates. In Oklahoma, Biden plus one, Bloomberg plus six. Um, Sanders surprisingly not doing too too well there. Blue, uh, Buttigieg was doing okay. Klobuchar was doing pretty good. Um, at this moment, I do see Biden winning because of a lot of those Buttigieg and Klobuchar voters that are, are going to cross over. So I do see him winning by about fourteen delegates. Sanders gets. Actually, a little lower than 14, more like 12, 9 for Sanders, 6 for 7 for Warren, and 9 for Bloomberg. In Maine, Sanders plus 9. Buttigieg did have a lot of support there. Klobuchar had a, an okay amount. Um... I do still see Sanders winning Maine. I think he'll get about eight delegates. Biden will get six. Warren will get five. And Bloomberg will get five. In Colorado, Sanders plus 12. Sanders plus 14. Buttigieg was doing pretty good there. Klobuchar was doing okay there. I do still think uh, Sanders will win the state. He's done pretty well here. Um, I think he'll get about 30 delegates. Biden will get 11. Warren will get 19, 18. And Bloomberg, where was Bloomberg pulling here? He was pulling pretty decently. So I, what the heck was that? So like an ad or something? Oh, it was this ad for some reason. Yeah, let me not have that on. Um. So yeah, I do think Bloomberg will receive some delegates. So let me lower Biden to 10, maybe 28 for Sanders. So I do think 10, 10, and 19. Vermont, this is Sanders' home state. Buttigieg was pulling pretty good there. Warren's doing okay there. Biden, not too good. This is definitely going to go to Sanders, probably by about uh, 12 delegates. And I think Warren will receive two, and Biden will receive two. And Arkansas, Bloomberg, plus one. Buttigieg had a large support there. Uh, Klobuchar, not too, too much. Um, I could see uh, Biden still winning here and beating uh, Bloomberg very narrowly. Bloomberg will probably receive roughly eight, seven for Sanders, and five for Warren. Tennessee. Biden's at 34, Sanders 26, 22 for Bloomberg, 12 for Warren, and 1% for Gabbard. I would say 
that at this moment. I think Biden would win Tennessee, getting about 29 delegates. 19, uh, not 29, more like 25. 19 for Sanders. Uh, 10 for Bloomberg and 10 for Warren. In Alabama, I 100% see Biden winning here, getting about 24 delegates. Sanders will receive about 12, 13, Bloomberg 15. In American Samoa, this will be a close one, but I do expect uh, Sanders to win this one. Actually, no, I could see it being a tie between um, Biden and Sanders. So, this is my prediction after Super Tuesday has resulted. Um, Buttigieg and Klobuchar have dropped out. I'm leaving them on there because they have had gained delegates. So now, Sanders in first with 552 delegates. Biden in second with 434. Warren in third with 266 Bloomberg in fourth with 215, and the rest of the other candidates besides Gabbard are out of the race. Gabbard may drop. I think she'll drop out after Super Tuesday. Um, Warren will 100% if she loses her state. Bloomberg, I don't think so. I think he'll go through some more states before dropping out, unless he gains like a lot of um, pull, uh, pulls a lot higher. So thank you for watching. Please go check out the live stream tomorrow as well as subscribe like the video hit the notification bell bye